Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Paul Keres and Isaac Bolesavsky. This is the game from Zurich Candidates Tournament, played in 1953. Paul Keres had white pieces and he started with d4. Isaac Bolesavsky played knight to f6, c4, d6, knight to c3, and now e5. Old Indian defense. Tempting white to capture the pawn and to exchange queens. Would you? Paul Keres played knight to f3. Well, if d takes on e5, d takes on e5, queen takes queen, king takes queen, this is really nothing special for white. Black is okay. So Keres played knight to f3, knight from b to d7, bishop to g5, h6, bishop to h4, g5, attacking the bishop. What would you do? Would you play bishop to g3 or something else? What is that something else? If bishop to g3, black can capture the pawn on d4, or play knight to h5, and then knight takes bishop. Keres played d takes on e5. Pawn takes bishop. Perhaps d takes on e5 was a better move. G takes on h4, pawn takes knight, queen takes pawn. Eight moves have been played, material is equal, white has a better pawn structure. And now white has a choice. He can continue with a quiet developing move like queen to c2, perhaps e3, or attacking move like knight to d5, but losing the pawn on b2. What would you do? Would you play a developing move or attacking move? Huh? Keres played attacking move, knight to d5. Well, this is not only attacking the queen, but the pawn on c7. Queen takes on b2, intending to win two pawns. Um, perhaps Queen to d8 was better, but it's not very challenging for black, is it? Because after queen to d4 and castling queenside, white is better. So we have queen takes on b2, rook to b1 attacking the queen, queen takes pawn on a2, and now black is two pawns up, but not for very long. Why to move and to play the obvious? The obvious is knight takes on c7 check, king to d8, knight takes rook, knight to c5, perhaps intending knight to e4, knight to c3, forking the queen and the rook. Rook to a1, attacking the queen, queen to b2. White to move. How would you continue? There is a simple move that white can play and solve all the problems. Hmm? The move is queen to d4. When ahead in material, exchange pieces, especially queens. Queen takes queen, what else? Knight takes queen, bishop to g7 attacking the knight, defending, rook to e8, threatening bishop takes knight, pawn is pinned, bishop to e2, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, knight to b3 attacking the rook, rook takes pawn on a7 making knight to b3 possible, setting the knight free, 
Knight takes on d4, threatening knight, or rook takes bishop. But white rook comes just on time to save the day. h3, rook to g1, rook to g8. White to move. White played the move, and black resigned. The move is g4. A small voice came to Bolesavsky and said, Don't resign. Please consider what will YouTube viewers think about your early resignation. Bolesavsky replied, Shut up. I don't give a rat about YouTube viewers. I had enough and I resign. Hmm. So that's it. However, I do care about my YouTube viewers and I will show you a possible continuation. Possible continuation is knight takes bishop, rook takes knight, f5, pawn is pinned. If pawn takes pawn, rook takes rook. Perhaps knight to b6. Attacking the bishop. Bishop to d7. Knight takes bishop. King takes knight. Rook to e3. Threatening. Rook takes pawn. Defending the pawn. But rook still takes the pawn because pawn is pinned. Rook to g6. Defending the pawn on h6. Rook to h4. b6. Rook from h takes on g4. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. And we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And what do you think of this opening? Perhaps opening is not so bad. Especially if white takes. You get an equal game. But Kelly's gonna take. He played knight to f3. That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.